Someone's got it out for you, dude. Bloods with secrets. They're a valuable commodity. We think you might be the one. Where is the camera? Now in its fourth season, the lost TV show has been a phenomenon, leaving viewers on the edge of their seats week after week and at the water cooler spinning conspiracy theories with coworkers. It's the kind of property that's ripe for the video game space, and it's surprising that it's taken this long for its first interactive outing. You're a son of a bitch, Elliot Maslow. Finally, it's arrived with Lost via Domus, but is it paradise or a plane crash? <laughs> the lead character in Via Domus will not be familiar to fans of the show because the character has never appeared in the show. The game begins just like the series began, with Oceanic Flight 815 crashing onto the mysterious island. You play as a photographer with amnesia, and the first part of the game consists of attempting to discover his identity. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Elliot. The game covers the ground found in the first two seasons of the show, with a smattering of natives that appeared later on. You'll rub elbows with the most enigmatic characters like Locke, Kate, Sawyer, Jack, Saeed, Hurley, and many more. They made some tasty cookies. Lost does a great job of weaving this new character's action into the known lore of the show. He'll make trips through the jungle and avoid the mysterious black smoke monster, punching the code in the hatch, and so forth. In all, it's one of the more intelligently done stories for a game based on a movie or TV show. Do I look like I've been trained in customer service? Bugger off. <laughs> If you're looking for a lot of modes and options, you've come to the wrong place. There's the single player campaign, and that's it. There's also just one difficulty setting, so there's very little reason to play it multiple times unless you want to replay chapters to snag all the achievement points. I can do better. Via Domus is completely linear. There's one exact way to get through the game with very little room for improvisation of any kind. The game doesn't even allow you to revisit some areas you've already encountered, instead relying on a warp system that cuts down on travel time but makes the game feel even less interactive. For all intents and purposes, this is a point-and-click adventure game minus the pointing and clicking. Generally, the process involves talking to someone to get clues, following the clues to move to your next destination, and then performing whatever action is asked of you. It's our responsibility now. But action probably isn't the best word to use because there isn't a whole lot, despite the fact that there's a fairly vast variety of gameplay types. Sorry, no deal. You can finish Lost in an afternoon, and there's not much incentive to go back and play it again. For a full-priced $60 game, it's unacceptable. Look out! The wind is breaking apart! While Via Domus is one of the shorter games you'll ever play, it does have a lot of different play styles jammed into it. The bad news is that none of them are all that compelling. You got problems. However, one gameplay element does manage to make sense within the context of the game and is fairly clever. Flashbacks are always a big part of the TV show, and thanks to the fact that the main character is a photographer, they're a big part of the game as well. Of course. With a wicked case of amnesia, he relies on taking photographs during flashback scenes to jog his memory. You're given a ripped up photograph to look at, and then you have to replicate the exact framing and focus of the shot during the flashback. If you manage to snap the right photo, you're treated to a cutscene that will explain part of his past and clear up some of the mystery. Yes. But sadly, this is where the compliments end on the gameplay front. A lot of the game is talking to characters from the show to obtain clues, but there's no right or wrong way to do it. You simply keep asking all the questions on the list until you get the information you need. You must have took one too many punches to the head. Another predominant and annoying gameplay element is the fuse puzzle. Here, you have to insert fuses that moderate the current, hoping to get it to the right level at every meter on the board. It's a simple math puzzle that wouldn't be bothersome once or twice, but you'll have to solve these same puzzles constantly. Eventually, you'll get to the hatch where you have to solve rudimentary IQ tests or input the number and press the button. Riveting stuff. Another big element of the game is travel, as in getting from one place to another. Sometimes you'll have to get through the woods with the smoke monster on your tail, taking time to hide in tree roots. Other times you'll have to enter pitch black caves with only a torch to light your way. Neither is particularly fun. There are also sections where you'll have to run for your life while hopping over and sliding under hazards, but it's video games 101. You can trade items with different characters, and at first you'll want to collect every water bottle and box of food you come across so that you can get enough torches to make it through a couple of caves. But after that, you really have no need to trade for anything. Splendid. You can save up and get a gun, but we probably fired the thing five times throughout the entire game. Playing Lost via Domus can be a chore, and if you have no attachment to the show, it can be a form of torture. The 
The graphics engine powering Via Domus does a great job of recreating the island paradise. There's plenty of foliage, and the lighting coming through the jungle canopy is more than convincing. Indoor areas are a little more humble, although the source material doesn't exactly lend itself to elaborate abodes. Some of the character models, like Hurley, look scarily realistic, while others, like Juliet, are just rough approximations. With a couple exceptions, the voice work isn't done by the real cast, but the developers have done a decent job of finding sound-alikes. Looks like you've discovered another one of my secrets. Lost via Domus will be tempting to fans obsessed with the show, but the story, as good as it is, has no bearing whatsoever on the overall canon. It's short, much of the gameplay amounts to a hurdle to get to the next cutscene, and at just over five hours long, under no circumstances, can be recommended for a purchase. Don't tell me what I can't do.